Good morning guys. Check out my Christmas tree. It's got some fishing rigs hanging from it. So today we're going offshore with Captain Dan from Florida Fishing Couple. For a couple episodes now I've been talking about trying to catch kingfish. And I told Dan, we need to get some kingfish today so I can fire up the smoker. So I believe the plan is we're going to run offshore right out of here from Key Largo. We're going to drive around between 70 and 90 feet of water until we mark some yellowtail. Once we mark those yellowtail, we're going to anchor up and chum heavy and hopefully get yellowtail behind the boat and hopefully get kingfish behind the boat. And we'll probably also troll some plugs around during this whole ordeal. But before we go offshore, we got to get some bait. And right here... This right here is my new live bait pen. I'm about to go out to my dock, try to catch some pilchards, put them in the live bait pen, and then once we get on Dan's boat, we'll stop by my dock and get the bait out of it. It floats and everything. It's got a door here so we can pour the bait in. Keep it right here off the back of my boat, and we'll be able to come right in here and pick it up. And I see pilchards right down there. Get my net. Let's do this, boys. Look at those baits. Got a few in here. Okay, Dan, I got us some baits. Not a ton ton. I gotta get a little bit better at throwing that cast net, but it's all a work in progress. But man, does it look like a beautiful day. The crazy thing is that it's supposed to be blowing 24, 28 knots in like five hours. So starts a beautiful day. Hopefully we don't end up in a terrible storm or at least in a lot of wind. Let's go to Dan's house. And here we are with yeah. Captain Dan. Here we are. And it's so raining. The weather went from perfect to raining in like minutes. <laughs> Typical. Beats ice and snow. That's true. I will take this over that any day. No ice and snow today. But uh... It's a great Saturday. Yes. Beautiful Saturday, <laughs> and we are heading out. Yeah. Hey, I see that bait pen. Yeah, that bait pen is floating. Looking pretty good. Time to grab some fat pilchards. <laughs> nice. All right, well done. That live well works wonders. <laughs> Okay, we're officially trolling some plugs. We're trolling these little Yozuri pretty colored dive plugs behind the boat right now. Going about five to six knots between 70 and 100 feet of water. And we're just gonna keep trolling until we mark some yellowtail or some good bait or something. And then we're gonna anchor up and uh, try to get some yellowtail and kingfish. I also forgot my GoPro mount. So I'm just left with holding the camera. So I don't know, I might miss some action shots, but I'll try my best. Dropping the anchor. Well, not much luck trolling plugs, but we are now anchored in uh, 84 feet of water. Dan's got a chum bag he's about to put out. We're gonna chum heavy, and I just know we're gonna catch a nice fish here. Now that we got a nice chum slick fermenting at the back of the boat, I'm gonna drop down this yellow tail jig with a chunk of bonita, but let's see if we can get ourselves a yellowtail snapper. We'll just plop it back in there and let it float back with the current and just keep free lining it as it goes out. All right, first fish on the boat, on the yellowtail hook. And we're also going to toss out 
a whole ballyhoo with the tail cut off on the stinger rig, which is basically a J hook going through the mouth of the ballyhoo and then a treble hook that you stick in the back. So we'll toss that back in the chum slick too and just let it drift way back out there and hope for the best. Oh yeah! Stinger rig with the ballyhoo. This may need netting or gaffing. Yep, yep, yep. Come to the top, baby. Come up to the top. Got him, got him. He's trying to swim down. Is that a kingfish? Oh my god, get the gaff. Zero, right? Yeah, zero. Yeah. <laughs> that's a zero and that's a nice fish. Zero mackerel. Nice. He'll be going on the smoker. <laughs> oh yeah. Good job. Yeah. Nice gaff job. He got foul hook too. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah. Look, yeah. hooked in the side. He done hooked himself right in the side there. He made a swipe at it and then. Uh, Put him back in here and bleed him out. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, it looks pretty good. Real piggy. What's that on? Light action? Yeah, it's very light action. Oh snap. I'll get the uh, I got the net. Yeah, yeah. Finally, a hit. I predict yellowtail. Yellowtail. I say yellowtail. That's it kind of looks like yellowtail. Nice, smooth, strong there fight. There we go. Whoop, whoop, what the hell oh. is that? Oh, mackerel! Oh, mackerel! It's a mackerel. Oh god! Another shiro mackerel. Beautiful. Do, 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 now we're do, do. getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Happy, happy. Beautiful. Might Remember. be able to fire the smoker up after all. Alright, we're getting there. The Ciro mackerel are around town. So we're gonna put out the stinger tip here. You can get these bad boys in six packs, but anyways, we're gonna throw a stinger tip out with a pilchard hook through the nose. Just like that. Treble hook right through the nose. Now chuck them in the chump slick. Right through the schnoot. Right through the schnoot into the chump slick. I love the sound of that. Yeah. Kinda sounds like another mackerel. Sounds like a holy mackerel. There we go. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need him. Here he comes. Almost. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I got another line on him here somewhere. Is yep. another line? Yep. I wonder if it's mine. Could be mine. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Oh man. Oh man. This light tackle does the job. It's a real light tackle. Here he comes, here he comes. Uh, he's definitely a decent one. <laughs> okay. Captured. Boy, it's hard to scoop and hold the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's a, he's a beauty. Woo! -wee. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's my line, actually. That's my bottom line. Oh, watch that yep. mackerel. That's why we wear booties now. Boink. Booty. Awesome. Little shrimp. Probably put this on the hook and send it back down. Yeah. Where'd that shrimp come from? Right out of his mouth. He's bleeding out. Getting ready for the ice box. On again! This is what I, this is what I like. I have it. Is that the live pilchard on a live stinger tip? Live pilchard stinger tip. Woo! This guy's screaming, man. This guy is a screamer. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right into the net, and bingo! That's enough! Love oh, when that happens. <laughs> awesome. Alright, now we're doing it. We're doing it! Now we figured it out. Oh yeah. We're on, we're on! Feels good. Looks good. Feels good. Looks good. It is good. Oh, it's another mackerel. Woo, it's running. <laughs> On the stinger tip. Woo. Yeah. All right, right into the net we 
I'll bring them right on in there. Yes, sir. Ka-ching! Yeah, <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a flipper. All right, flip them on in. Mm -hmm. You ever determine... Woo! He's like a little sandwich. Mmm. Pretty nice sandwich. Yeah, he's a nice one. Nice. Bam. We got doubles, triple hookups. Get it up! Get it up! That's what she's... Oh! No! 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 Well, well. At least, at least that fish can s still make it home for Christmas. <laughs> yes, he will. All right, we're calling it a day with a ton of mackerel in the box, ready for smoking, ready for holiday fish dip, so all of our families can eat lots of fish dip. I'm probably gonna make, I don't know, at least a gallon or two of it, and it's gonna be good. So, time to go back home, get the smoker fired up. Luis Navidad. Kitty. I bet as soon as I start filleting, he's gonna run up and beg for some. I'm using a Dexter knife, nice and sharp. So to fillet these guys, I'll just do it real simple. Kind of cut into their head like that on both sides. I forgot to grab my gloves. Here's a fresh piece. Come here, bud. Kitty. Kitty loves fresh fish, especially the mackerels. Loves them. Bam, there we go. It's one side filleted. I'm not going to take the ribs out of these. Since we're gonna smoke them, it'll be real easy to take the ribs out later. So I'm just gonna cut these into smokable sizes. We're gonna leave the skin on because after we smoke them, the skin comes off real easy. There we go. And just like that, time to fillet five and a half more uh, zero mackerel. Kitty, buddy, come here. <laughs> All right. Back to filleting. Look how beautiful these pieces look right here. That's only one half of one fish. We got a long way to go. I just hope Kitty doesn't eat all of it. Look who showed up to the party. Kitty is a little worried, but Kitty, what's that? Mm-hmm. You want this? Down it goes. Down the hatch. We already got a whole bunch of fish. This is two fish. Got a whole bunch more to go. Isn't that right, bud? Right now it's a show off between the cat and the bird.
These two have been gawking at each other for like the last 20 minutes <laughs> while I'm filleting fish. I mean, it's like, I think they're friends, but they're just going crazy. I don't know if this is gonna end well or not. <laughs> Kitty, what's going on over there? Oh my gosh. But look how much fish we already have. Just finished flaying this guy. I like to throw some fish at these two just to entice the battle. Oh, now the bird really wants it. Kitty, what's going on? You're just gonna let the bird? Oh God. Yeah, kitty. Victory. Victory is ours, my man. Yeah, look how excited you are. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you ain't scared no bird. All right, all the fish has been filleted. I mean, we got enough to fill the smoker for sure. Um, the bird and the cat are still going at it, as you see. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. He likes to chase the bird off the dock because it's stealing his fish. I understand, Kitty, where you're coming from, but no need. There's enough fish for everyone. All right, we're in the kitchen. We got our fish. I just came back from Publix. We got salt, brown sugar, and white sugar. In this bowl, I'm just going to mix. I mean, you can kind of wing this however you want. But I like, I'm gonna do two pounds of brown sugar, one pound of white sugar, and one pound of salt. Here we have two pounds of brown sugar, one pound of white sugar, and one pound of salt. Now it's time to brine our fish. I took the fish out because you want just one layer. Just put one layer down, then brine that one layer. To do that, you just uh, evenly spread the brine. Now I made a bit of a mess here, but it's all good in the hood. Now once you got kind of an even layer on here, you add the second layer of fish. Now what brine does is it loosens the muscle fibers in the fish and also creates this gel coat on top of the fish, like a protein coat. So when you're smoking it, the smoke flavor sticks to that, which gives you a much better tasting fish. Not to mention the brown sugar itself flavors the fish. So it's just a win-win situation all around. And we will do exactly the same thing to this. Just get a nice even coat. And I'm gonna try my best to fit a third layer on here. All right, that's the third layer of fish. And this will be the final layer of brine. Bam! And there we have it. 
You can see how it's already kind of getting a little moist. By tomorrow, this entire thing will just be like a liquid, like a brown liquid sugar. You'll see what I mean in the morning. But for now, we just put our lids on and we'll put it in the fridge and we'll let it brine for about 12 hours and then it'll be ready for the smoker. There it is in the fridge and with a snap of a finger, it's gonna be 12 hours later. Wait, that was a bad snap, hold on. That one wasn't that great either, hold on. Bam! Look at that. All the salt and sugar has basically turned into a liquid. It's looking real good. There's only one problem. It's storming and raining. And the forecast says it's gonna be like this all day. Which is a little bit of a problem because my smoker is electrical and I don't wanna put it in the rain and I don't have any overhang to put it under. I stuck the smoker right next to the door. It's a little protected, but it'll probably get a little wet. I think we'll be okay. However, we have another problem. There's only three smoking racks. There's supposed to be a fourth one right here. I looked all around the house and I cannot find it anywhere. What does that mean? We won't be able to smoke all of the fish at the same time. Even Kitty's upset about this situation. Let's get started and make this work. This is the smoker box, which we're gonna fill with wood. In this case, we're gonna smoke it with apple smoking chips. Almost to the top, and I like to spice things up a bit, so I'm gonna put in just a few hickory smoking chips. Just, just a few in there. And that's our smoker. Now we're gonna put this into the smoker. Fill this with some water. There we go. Take the racks out. Close this door. Plug it in. Oh, I can't even, I have no idea what any of these buttons say anymore. They're all faded. Luckily, it comes with a remote. Okay, I set the temperature to 275, and I think it should start heating up. Oh yeah, it's heating up all right. So we'll close that up. So now what we're gonna do is we took the fish out of the fridge, and we're going to lay it on the smoking racks. Some of the fish have a lot of sugar crusted on top of them, so we're gonna wash them off just very lightly just to get any sugar clumps off. You don't want big sugar clumps because what I learned last time I smoked is that if there's like a fat pile of sugar, it'll caramelize and get like real. I mean, I guess if you like caramelized fish, but I don't really like sweet, sweet fish. I like it when it's smoky with just a touch of brown sugar flavor. So I like to wash the fish off. Then we're gonna lay it on these racks and kind of let it get down to room temperature. And once the smoker is smoking, which should be in maybe about an hour, We'll slide in the fish. Just a very light wash like that. Yeah, boys, look at that. Look at all that goodness. And we got... That's what's left over. If we would have had a fourth rack, this would have worked out perfectly. I basically just doubled my smoking time because now I gotta smoke all these. When these are done, I'm probably gonna have to put more wood chips in there. Then I'm gonna have to smoke just one rack. What is this? This is madness. You know what? That's my fault for, no for having lost a smoking rack. Now we just wait for the smoker to start smoking and we'll slide these racks right up on in there. Mm. Uh, it's smoking. Just about time to put in the fish. Ta-da! Yeah. It really isn't like the most pleasant day to be smoking because of the rain, but it's actually really nice.
The fish has been smoking for about an hour now. Give it about another 30, 45 minutes and it's gonna be ready. Wow. So they've been smoking now for a total of one hour and 45 minutes. They're starting to look real nice and brown. Still a little light brown on the top. Technically they're done and I could take them off, but I'm gonna give them about another 15, 20 minutes, let the tops get a little crispier and browner, and uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes. All right, these look good. Time to take them out. Oh yeah. Look at that smoked fish, oh man. By the way, this one that's got some crust on it, I accidentally dropped that one in the smoker so it got covered in whatever that is, but I'm sure it's got a good flavor. But man, look at that, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo. So I'm gonna let these cool. The fish has now cooled. What we're gonna do is save some of it for eating, like eating just the whole piece of fish. I'm gonna save those in here. The rest of them, I'm going to take the skin off, I'm going to put them in a bag, and we're going to make fish dip with them. The best fish dip you can imagine. Just for like eating, I really like like these fatter pieces like this one. Whoa, I mean look how it just comes apart. The skin comes right off of it. Just like that. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Alright, I'll, I'll try this just for you guys. I already had one. I meant to just try a piece of it and I ended up eating almost all of it, but look at that. It's almost a shame actually, putting this fish into fish dip because just by itself. That's one of my favorite things. Like. That in the morning with a cup of coffee, there's nothing better than that for breakfast. Mmm, oh my gosh. Mmm. There we go. Two Tupperwares full of nice smoked fish pieces. These will go in the fridge. The rest will be turned into fish dip. I got another rack in the smoker. The fish dip, I'm gonna make that a different episode. But I'm gonna take these home, give them to the family for the holidays, and I'm gonna bring Dan some. Now before we go, and shove some of this smoked fish down Dan's throat. I wanna give a big thank you to this bag, to the Ridge. You probably saw me using this bag in this video. It is my camera bag, it's my boat bag, it's my rig bag, it's my new badass bag. The Ridge makes a bunch of really cool products like this, and they're also helping me make more fishing videos by sponsoring me, giving me cool gear, and putting gas in my boat so I can make more fishing videos for you guys. I actually have a full blown out episode planned where I'm doing a 24 hour survival video. I'm gonna go out on my boat and not leave it for 24 hours straight. And the only things I'm gonna be using is a bunch of gear from the ridgewallet.com. They're sponsoring that video. It's gonna be a blast. The really nice thing about this bag that it has a waterproof zipper so I know when it rains on the boat, I don't have to be worried about my camera getting wet. It also has a lot of compartments for all of my rigs. Even has a nice slot for my e -perb. My sunglasses are in here. I know they won't get scratched. There's a big area for my big camera that I'm holding right now. And there's even a USB port linked to a charging device that comes with the bag. So I can keep my cameras charged while I'm offshore or my phone charged or whatever I need to charge. This bag is gonna help me a lot on all my upcoming fishing trips. I've been using this bag for like three or four trips now, but I finally decided I tested it, I liked it, time to do the shout out. So thank you, The Ridge, for sending me this bag. If you wanna help support my channel, check out their gear, get something you like, let them know that uh, you like my channel so they keep sponsoring me. Cause the more these guys sponsor me, the more fishing videos I can make because I can put gas in my boat and you guys get more videos. Everybody's getting more videos. More smoked fish. The more smoked fish that I have, the happier my family is. So thanks again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm putting out a bunch of videos like a god dang crack baby. Arr.